Hello, Terra Mystica players, and welcome to the next online game of Terra Mystica. So I'm going to open up a table today with only three players, and the settings are going to be factions selected in player order, starting VP adjusted by faction, turning order variable, and we're going to put the mini expansion on. So we now have the uh, mini expansion um, on board game arena where I'm playing now. So let's get the table open to other players to join and I'll cut it out and come back to you when the table's full. Okay guys the table filled up in about five seconds so let's get the game underway and see how we get on. We've got uh, a strong player and an average player and the game's underway fairly quickly. I'm the first player to choose my faction so Let's just have a look at the setup here. Very interesting. We have the brown cult uh, bonuses here at the end of round one, rounds one and two. Um, and forming a town in round one, I don't think that's going to happen. Um, sanctuary stronghold at the end. And we also have the temple bonus in round five. So that looks very interesting. So obviously brown. Not many coins um, available. Um, in this game and not so many scoring bonuses we do have the shipping scoring bonus and we have the priest but we don't have the dig bonus card as well so that's fairly significant now obviously the darklings could be a strong one in this because as, as I've said the uh, brown um, cult bonuses here digging in round two sanctuary in round three um, slight weakness really building their stronghold in the final round but that's okay it's the best round I suppose for the stronghold for them if the darklings build it so let's build the darklings and see how we go what neighbors are we gonna get uh, we could get halflings um, probably a red faction actually looking at the red cult bonuses at the end of round three and four what would that be I'm not sure at the moment and also looking at the temple round scoring in round five, that looks interesting as well. So we've got Chaos Magician, so we've got a red faction. So what's the Mork, the third player, going to choose? Now I've got to be careful about my initial placements. In a three-player game, I want to have neighbours. You don't want to have neighbours at any time, but uh, three-player game, it's less likely you're going to get someone out on the eastern continent. Um, Let's hope the Mork chooses gray, and gray because gray is more likely to be um, to have a placing out on the eastern continent where I want to be with my darklings. So he's gone for cultists brown. So cult is quite likely to place one on the eastern cult, uh, continent. Um, this I did say I would. Uh, somebody mentioned I should raise uh, increase the size of my cursor, but I've actually forgotten to do that. Um, Okay, so we're going to place here. Maybe we'll get a cultist neighbor. So the cultists are going to place both of their dwellings now. So they're under pressure to go next to me now because they don't know where the chaos magicians are going to go. But more than likely, chaos magicians will go right in the center. Of course, chaos magicians place... Yeah, he's gone next to me. Of course, chaos magicians place um, after everyone else. So I've got my neighbor, which is the most important thing. So... I can choose to go here and do all of my development on the Eastern continent if I so wish. And I will do that. Now there's no coins in, or a very low number of coins in this game, but we can get coins from the cult tracks. So it's very important to get a few priests into the cult tracks, but really the, the brown cult is, is, is very important. I can get, oh, I've got the uh, Chaos Magicians as a neighbor. But I think the uh, priest bonus card is of high value straight away. But I think that's probably going to get taken by someone. Um, but getting the, a priest down into that uh, earth cult and getting to at least step four at the end of the first round. So the priest bonus card hasn't been taken. Now the Mork, the cultists, are a, a strong player. He's gone for the... Uh, um, the, the power and a worker. So I could go for the coins, but I'm going to go for the the priest there. So I'm I'm surprised I've got that. So nobody else has a priest, so I don't need to uh, 
I don't need to, unless I'm worried about losing an important hex and this one here next to the Chaos Magicians, that's not gonna get taken. So I just need to decide who I'm gonna give power to. And I'm thinking that either of them could end up being um, my, it doesn't really matter which one I think because either of them could be a, a, a three hex town. So I'm just gonna give the Chaos Magicians the uh, power because cultists are um, a higher ranked player. So I'm gonna start my temple building here. And also the Chaos Magicians are going to want to build a um, sanctuary perhaps, or maybe they won't go for that, which means I'm likely to get more power from the Chaos Magicians although the cultists would try to dig here and also give me power, but uh, let's accept this power. Yeah, probably work out uh, pretty even actually, but uh, it's interesting because the other two factions re are relying on the dig power actions. So they're gonna be fighting for the dig power actions and coins obviously as well. So there's a lot of demands on their um, a lot of demands on their uh, on their power. They really need to get a lot of power in this game, which might be why the cultists went for the three power and one worker. So they need to get coins and digs through their power actions. Okay, so still so nobody's got say the priest. So I'm going to get a temple and earth one. Earth one, very valuable. Um, in any game, but um, this game, because we're getting a, a place up this earth cult as well. So Chaos Magicians are going to just take the power here. Okay, I should try to watch what the other players are doing a bit more to, uh, otherwise I'm gonna miss something. Okay, yeah, so we're gonna get earth one. And move one another step up the uh, earth track no conversions there now i could take the priest power action taking the uh the earth one in a three-player game is not actually that vital it probably wasn't necessarily the best thing to do but uh, because i can certainly get it it's not like there's a race to get earth one Alternatively, I could get the coin power action. Going for the uh, Earth 2 may have been a better move actually because I can get earth one later I could have got earth one in round three what did chaos magicians get yeah they got earth one which is not necessary because you can certainly get earth one it's not as if you need to race for it okay so the uh, cult has taken a single dig interesting just a single dig Okay, I should do less talking and more concentrating. <laughs> uh, the other thing I could do is um, save a priest and dig more in the next go, but I certainly want to get the Earth 3. That's vital. I don't need to use the other priest, but I could take. I could take um, the priest power action or uh, leave that to take a double dig in the next round possibly. But possibly, yeah, the earth two might have been a better move in that round. Now I could still take, okay, we've got loads of power here. So I could still take the priest and 
two workers. My worker income is just two, but I'm going to have probably more than two digs in the next round, actually. So it's the worker. I'm short of workers, really. Okay, so I could take the priest. That was going to give me a good score, but I'm going to need more workers. Um, so the three power and one worker. We'll go for the coins because obviously there's low coins. We'll get out of this. My, we'll pass out the round and I can always take the double dig or whatever next time. So we'll get the coins because obviously there's a lack of coins in this game. So yeah, keep the priest that I have and get the four coins and one cult step. If I take the double dig, that's going to obviously take it away from other players. Now, currently, this brown hex, I think, is a double dig for the Chaos Magicians. Yes, it is. So. And the Chaos Magicians don't have a dig bonus at the end of this round, whereas the Cultists do. I'm just thinking where I'm going to dig. Now, I could go for this spot here could be quite valuable because I could quite easily get um, boxed in a bit. It's less easy to get boxed in in a three-player game but having this hex here should uh, allow me to get out because nobody's going to take this black hex here in a hurry. Often you'd have mermaids or witches going to take this, but in this game, I don't need to worry about that black hex. But I would have to get three shipping to, or two shipping to get up there. But even if I got this, it's still going to be uh, quite a lot of shipping. Now I'm thinking to use my cult um, bonus dig to dig here. That way when I get my double dig at the beginning of next round, I can dig here and get a, a dwelling on it. So that can't be taken by the Chaos Magicians. Okay, so I use my spade on this hex. And double dig at the beginning of next round. And I also have two priests to spend too. And my coin economy should be okay because I'm the only one who got the decent a bonus card with coins. Okay, so I've got 12 coins and as opposed to six and five for Chaos Magicians and Cultists. Okay, so let's take the double dig because obviously the Chaos Magicians want that and they, they would probably uh, take the brown hex although the green I could also take between the other two. Um, six power into bowl three. Make sure I take the right action here. Okay, definitely using power. And okay, the other spade can go here. And we'll throw a dwelling on here. Okay, so the next round is um, Sanctuary round. So we're going to need to have 10 coins. But that shouldn't be a problem because we're going to have lots of coin income. Chaos Magicians take the single dig, okay. Leaving the cultists with no dig which is a problem for them. They finished the first round with a temple and only two dwellings down. So they really need to get some, uh, some dwellings out. 
Okay, so they've gone for the fire cult, which is which is good for them. Okay, so I'm going to now. I could dig here between them. I stick another dwelling down here. That would be interesting because it would certainly give me better access up here if that's what I want to do later on in the game. So, because I can only get one more dwelling down, so that might be the best thing to do. Yeah, we'll go there. and throw a dwelling on it. Okay, so the three power and one worker bonus card is there. I still have my cult step to take, um, which obviously is gonna go in the earth cult to get an extra coin. Um, and there's a priest with a worker on as well. Not that I need, not that I need to do any more digging, but it might be useful to throw that into the cult track. But three power, that would enable me to take the coin power action. But I don't necessarily need that. Anyway, see if anyone else passes out. What's the, what are the cultists going to do here? Okay, Kale's Magicians got loads of power in ball three. Coin power action possibly, or get if, if I was them, I'd get their, their uh, priest out into a cult track into a three spot. Or, uh, or the earth cult to get an extra couple of coins. Okay, they've taken the coin power action. Okay, so I can get an extra six coins. So my coin economy is looking okay. And I should have four workers, yeah. So next round with the, with the uh, sanctuary, I'm gonna be able to do that, no problem. And then I should take what a what um, favor tile should I take? Okay, let's uh, accept that power. I might get a, I might not be able to win this earth cult. But uh, okay, so we've got my cult step now. We'll take that in earth. Yeah, we might not be able to win this earth cult. I could still take the priest power action and do another dig. But do I want to do that? Shall I save my power? priest power action and another another priest in the cults might be useful. But next round, all I really need to do is get uh, the sanctuary because the following round is a dwelling round. Although getting a trading post might be useful as well.
Now I could take water one. Um, that's uh, another scoring favor tile with my sanctuary. Okay, so let's see, shall I take the priest power action or shall I pass and then be able to take There's not a particular power action I really need to take, to be honest. Um, yeah, the priest power action and do another dig. How about that? Or, but yeah, my coin income is okay at the moment. <clears throat> but in the future, I could be stuck for coins. So what's my time limit here? What's my time on? Okay, I've got three minutes. Okay. Um, getting another priest, I think, is a good thing because I can. I could just throw that into the uh, cults, into the uh, water cult, because there's a possibility I could win the water cult. <clears throat> And also having priests in the cult is going to give me uh, coins at the end of round five. Now, if I was to get another coin into the earth cult, obviously I am in prime position to win this cult. I could well finish the town first and get the uh, two points up each cult. Um, favor tile. I'm only going to get two more coins at the end of this round. So I could prioritize the earth cult. With such a low coin game, getting these um, extra coins is certainly going to count. And as I've taken, I've burned my power all down to a bowl one. It could be a long time until I'm uh, taking power actions again, like I need the coin power action, for example. And I'm not going to get a good coin bonus card unless I take the trading post one for the next round but I don't think I'm gonna have the resources to build a trading post because if I took that, I'll just have five workers, enough to build a sanctuary, but not, okay, so, but not uh, a trading post with it. So we're gonna throw another priest in here. We will go into the earth cult. I know that there's the two, three spots to take, but because it's such a low coin game, that's the reason I've uh, prioritized the earth cult. Otherwise, I, I, I'd see that those three spots are more valuable. I still think they're obviously very valuable. And obviously doing a dig with that priest is also very valuable. But I just don't want to be in a position of having too few coins. And my sanctuary is very expensive. I think it's 10 coins for the sanctuary. Yeah, 10 coins. Okay, so pass out the round. We've also denied the others, the uh, that bonus card, the coin bonus card as well. So that's pretty useful. And what's available to me, I can get the three power and a shipping. Shipping I'm not particularly interested in. So I can go for the priest. Okay, we'll grab the priest with one coin on it. Um, one reason I would not take the priest is that uh, often they, that can be left. You can obviously of, often see that with uh, three coins left on it. So if other players are not taking it, the coins build up and I can take that later. But I'm happy to take that with one coin on it. 
So 17 coins, my coin economy is okay. But as I said, building my sanctuary now, and that's all I can do in this go, is going to use 10 coins. But then I can get straight out of the round and get the bonus card. The uh, bonus card with the coins on. And again, denying it uh, to the other players. Coin power action has been taken. There's a bit of power there for me. Four power at the expense of three victory points now. <laughs> we'll take it, but uh, it's sort of like a bit borderline there. Whether I should take it or not. Okay, so sanctuary time and Okay, so I don't think I'm going to be getting uh, three towns in this game. So we're going to go for points here. So we'll just go for water one, shall I? Or do I need more? My, hmm, I'm a bit worried about my worker income as well. But I don't want to take Earth 2 because I can't finish the uh, cult anyway with that. So I'm going to take Water 1, although Water 2 might be useful as well. But I'm going to take Water 1. It means I'm building my trading posts. It's, it's not a waste. Getting some scoring for the trading posts. Okay, nobody's going to pass out, so I'm going to be able to get the uh, coins bonus card if I want to, or a three spot in uh, the water cult. That would be very useful, three power there. Okay, so we'll. Chaos Magicians are likely to take the that uh, bonus card. So for the sake of leaving one spot in, say, the Water Cult or the Air Cult, that coin bonus card but I can't take the coin power action anyway. Chaos Magician's power income is ooh, very low. And Chaos Magicians want to be building a trading post in this round. I'm going to risk it and we're going to throw a priest in here. But do I want three priests committed to these cult tracks? Yep, yeah, we do three, but no more. Okay. And next round, I'm certainly passing out, but I'm guessing the Chaos Magician is going to pass out before me. Okay, we've got two power there. Good. I think the Chaos Magician is going to pass out and take that uh, bonus card. But uh, getting the three spot in that water cult's really given me a very strong position in that cult. So that's points, there's certainly points there. Chaos Magicians have dug across the water, excellent. That means I can get the coins bonus card. And being the only coin bonus card in the game, that's gotta be high value. Check my power income, it's zero, but I can take the coin power action even if I wanted to in the next round. But uh, with a low worker income, may not be the best thing to do. Just check the other ones available. Shipping, scoring. Yep, we're going to go for the coin bonus card. Next round, we're building dwellings. So we don't need a massive uh, pile of workers for this round. Four is plenty. Now I could take the coin power action and that's going to deny it to the opponents as well. Let's check what uh, 
a, a coin economy is looking obviously chaos magicians have zero coins and their coin income is, is still, they didn't build a trading post in that round so um they got zero for that bonus card yeah chaos magicians have three coins cultists have 10. now i've got four workers and 12 coins i don't really need coins but the cultists would take the coins well that cultists will probably take the digs actually in this particular situation um and then the chaos magicians would take the coins and i'm not too worried about the chaos magicians as an opponent now i take the coins because that just means i don't need to build trading posts now if i don't want to but I will build them in the game. But uh, I'll take the coins just to deny them to the opponents. Because at the end of this round, my worker income is gonna be strong. And I can finish a town in this round as well. So, Cultists, do they have shipping? Yes, they do. So they can dig across the water here. That's going to be, that's good for them. Yeah, this round I might build a trading post and get the two worker. Um, town tile. That might be one way to go. I'm thinking that uh, keeping these towns separate, that's the thing. I'm thinking about uh, perhaps this hex being the dividing line between the two towns, but it doesn't necessarily have to be that way. Because it's, the green hex is a double dig, and that's having four here would be okay. Um, but as this town has more neighbours, it's easier to build trading posts on here. So I'm probably better to make this the four hex town and then this a five hex town, giving this hex to the town. So if I put a dwelling here and get the two worker two worker town tile, yeah, we could do that. throw a dwelling on there because certainly need a dwelling there and this town this town can go here 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 and if i needed a fifth here with a double dig chaos magicians spreading out nicely there but they do need to get some coin income Doing well in the cults obviously is not uh, so important in this game, playing against the Chaos Magicians and the uh, Cultists. But at the moment I'm winning two cults, but um, not too fussed about holding on to that. I don't need to take any more coins as well either because, uh, So I could leave it till the next round to complete my town and just get more dwellings out in this go. But Yeah, finishing the town 
maybe I could get uh, the one step up each cult. Not worry about uh, trading posts in this round. Do the trading posts in the next round. Will I have enough coins for building a temple? Anyway, next thing to do is just stick a dwelling here. Okay, next go, I need to decide whether to finish the town and get the two worker town tile or finish the town next go. Five, four. Finishing the town next go, obviously I have fewer coins. but I have managed to get loads of coins so far. And finishing the town next go means I can get a higher point scoring town tile. And uh, obviously in this go, it's uh, very important to maximize the number of dwellings down. And my worker income is going to be pretty strong at the end of this round because obviously get getting loads of dwellings down. So uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven dwellings maxed out my worker income. Chaos magicians take the bridge. Oh my goodness. Okay, so let's build a dwelling here and here. Then cult step and finish the town in the next go. That will give me, yeah, I'll be able to build a temple next round. Okay, my score's 46, doing well at the, in the lead at the moment and winning two of the four cults. Are the cultists going for three towns? So I've got my cult step and then the town tile I could do is the one step up each cult to finish that earth cult. If I win one cult in this game, I think that's a success to be honest because I'm playing against the uh, cultists and the uh, chaos magicians. But at the moment I'm on course to win two. I'm not so worried about the longest network because cultists have taken some of my uh, black spots away, but uh, I'm not too fussed about that because I have the water one um, favor tile, which is going to score me points for trading posts. Not that I'm going to be building that many, but uh, okay, another dwelling down. So my dwelling income is going to be nice and strong. Um, and let's have a look at the bonus cards available. Obviously I've still got my cult step, but uh, there's the trading post bonus card, which is not particularly high value, but it does have um, an extra worker. And obviously the priest, is always useful for me. Now I do have enough priests in my supply to take it. Still got four priests in the supply, so I could take the priest that has a coin on it. Um, the shipping scoring, I don't have any shipping level and I'm not planning to do that in the next round. So, but the, yeah, sh uh, the shipping one, the shipping with three power has uh, two coins on. 
Now, cultists really do need coins. By denying cultists coins, obviously the chaos magicians do too, by denying cultists coins, that could be a strong tactic in this game, but I can't, my power income is zero. So it's not as if I can take Not as if I can take the coin power action in the beginning of the next round. Okay, so we're going to use the cult step on the earth cult and hope someone passes out because I don't want to give my this coin uh, bonus card to anyone. Cultists, what have they got left? Nothing. They've only got one worker left. And I think they probably want the coin bonus card, but I think they can probably take the coin power action if they take the th the shipping bonus card. And that means next time I can get the one step up each cult town tile, which will seal up that earth cult for me. And then get a temple and preferably I would need also a trading post so that in the final round I can build a um, what do you call it it's not a sanctuary the other one stronghold okay so that's what the um, cultists have done, they've got the shipping, so do they have enough power? I think they may not have enough power actually. They might have seven in board two. What's their power income? Yeah, just one. So, um, yeah, I think they'll end up with seven in board two, but we'll see that. Now, Chaos Magicians are obviously going to get my one, so shall I go for the three power? My power income is zero. I'll go for the scoring bonus, trading post scoring bonus, because I do intend to leave a trading post at the end of next round. Will I have enough? Three, five, three, six. Yep, I should have enough coins for it. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna get the trading post one. That means that gives me 12 coins at the beginning of the next round. So five, three, eight, yeah. I should be able to build a trading post. Okay, so, oh, cultists, they do have the power. What am I talking about? Um, so they're obviously gonna take, are they gonna take the coins? Yep, they've taken the coins. So coins have gone this time. I'm not in such a great position for coins, but I'm gonna get power now because we're gonna make sure we win a cult. Now, yeah, just getting the one step up each cult is very valuable here because in a three player, oh, pass what I'm talking about. Um, in a three player game, you just need to get off the beginning of the uh, cult tracks to start scoring. Now I could take the two steps up each cult. But the points will we'll allow the, uh, the other two factions to enjoy the cults a bit more. Okay, so at least that just gets me off the uh, off the bottom with the cults, and then I'm going to at least um, get the two points for being in third place. Turn a light on. That doesn't help. Okay, okay so. So the cult is being denied a bridge by the Chaos Magicians by the look of it. Cultists took the coins, which means they can't 
take the bridge because the chaos magicians took the bridge. Okay, shall I accept power? Why not? Why not? Because I'm not trying to fight the cultists too much here. It's the, uh, he has gone for the water cult. But I'm not too concerned about the cults. I've already pretty much achieved all I need to achieve in the cults. I could throw another priest into the cults. Look at the air cults. Oh my goodness. That's nuts. But at the end of this round, my income is going to be three unless I take the priest, unless I take the priest bonus card. Yeah, I still still not confident about that air cult. So let's just grab a temple. If I get a temple, what should I get? Yeah, we get the two steps up the water cult. Okay, temple is still going to have enough to build a yeah two steps up the water cult. We get that. Okay. Yeah, that'd be the one to go for. Okay, so we're getting the power in a better position now. And next go, build a trading post. Yeah, that three step in the air cult, I can't believe that's still available. It's got to be taken. Perhaps I should have gone for that. But also passing out of this round early is very useful. So the Chaos Magicians didn't go for it. Cult is surely going to go three spot in the air cult. Passing out of this round, getting the shipping scoring bonus card is very useful. Mainly just denying the other, the other guys that. But I will be looking to expand my network a bit and I'm gonna need a bit of shipping in the final round. So getting an extra, extra scoring for it, but that Air cult is so tempting, the three spot in the air cult. Yeah, I'm gonna prioritize that because passing out of the round early is very important here. So let's get a trading post out. We certainly need that. Getting scoring for that, which is very useful. Will the cultists take that power? Declined. So my power situation is looking very good. Still have a cult step. And I could put another trading post down, but that's not good. Second town there for the Chaos Magicians. Okay, I think the scoring bonus is the biggest priority here above my remaining cult step.
and my power income is one. Will the cultist pass out of the round? My coin income should be two or six, eight. But if I take the uh, the coins at the beginning of next round, that really leaves me in a strong position. Yeah, so I'm thinking the three power from that uh, shipping scoring bonus card plus my one power, that gives me uh, F five, F six power in both three. Do I, my, oh dear, problem. I need to spend another priest. And it can't go into, hmm. It can't go into the air cult because that comes out of my supply. I've got two priests left in my supply. So I'm going to have to dig here before I pass out of the round, which is a weakness. But the other two players both have priests. My priest income is three. I've got two left in my supply. So in order to gain that the supply of priests that I have coming towards me, I need to get rid of these I need to dig with them or upgrade shipping or something. So I'm going to dig here. Do not build. Confirm. Or could I build? Cancel. Uh, build, yeah. Why not? Just make a conversion first. Just convert. Uh, yeah. Reset, okay, a power, and throw that in here. Because worker income is still vital. And next, next round we can uh, get the stronghold. Coins is the biggest priority. Okay, so Chaos Magicians do not pass out cultists they still have a priest and obviously priests are very valuable and there's the air cults so cultists put your priest into the air cults but they need the bridge but i'm not going to take the bridge so cult is certainly not going to get three towns and we've got one yet so Chaos Magician's on 64. Still no one taking that three spot in the air cult. Will the cultists do it now? They only have one priest in the cults. They've done it. Okay, that leaves the shipping scoring for me. My power income of one plus three from the shipping scoring, four. Yep, that's good. Don't worry about the cult step. That means I'm going to lose that water cult, but I'm not concerned about that. Shipping scoring is mine. Good. So I can get the coins and that's really going to make my position a lot stronger. Yeah, if I was to play this game differently, I think it was the favor tile that I first took because it being a three player game, I could have just taken the Earth 2 favor tile. What did I get in the end? Obviously, I got Earth 1 and then Water 1. Water 1's got me six points so far. Not amazing. Cultists fail to get the coin bonus card because Chaos Magicians still have it. Yep, 
yeah, because I'm fairly weak in the network, so a cultist at the moment, um, and obviously not forecast to be too strong in the cults, like up against the cultists and the chaos magicians, getting that water one is pretty good. And my coin income should be eight, should have nine coins at the beginning of next round, plus the coin power action. No one will have the coin bonus card in, at the last round. And then I can upgrade my shipping and that will give me some nice points and possibly plop down another dwelling or two and finish a town. So it's looking good. So Chaos Magicians will probably take the uh, scoring bonus there on the left. Trading post scoring, but they haven't. They've taken the Priest with a couple of coins on it. Okay, so let's have a look. I've got nine coins. Chaos Magicians, 11. Cultist, nine. So obviously that uh, coin bonus is going to be very valuable. Let's grab that. I don't worry about the Water Cult. Let the Chaos Magicians have that. It's all yours. I've got, yeah, if they don't take it, because the double dig or yeah, the bridge, the cultists have the bridge, what will the chaos magicians take? If they take the double dig, I'll finish that, uh, well, I can't finish the cult, can I? Can't finish the cult, because I only have one key, I've only finished one town. Okay, cultists taking the six coins town tile which is obviously they need it, but at this late stage in the game, it's better to score higher point scoring town tiles. Okay, so now I can, I can't build my sanctuary yet, my stronghold yet, because I've still got three priests. Um, so I need to upgrade shipping, get rid of some of these priests, step by step. Okay, shipping level one done. Okay, get to shipping level two, and then I can build my... Just depends on what town tile I'm going to take. I could take the 11 points for the stronghold, finish the town. Oh. Cultists not going for the network, that's interesting. Maybe they will go for the network later. One, two, three, four, five, six. They have six dwellings down. The cultists, they're going to need th three shipping to join up their network if they get the yellow hex at the bottom. And currently their shipping is on two. So yeah, they can, uh, they can do that. Perhaps they were just denying the uh, Chaos Magicians, any chance of making a town there, but I think it's fairly difficult anyway for them. Okay, so another shipping level. D uh, yeah, the uh, Water Cult's been won by the Chaos Magicians, but that is not a problem. I'm very happy with the way the cults have gone. We've got a first, a second, and two thirds. That's how it's going to stay, I, I imagine. It really depends, it's really about what uh, town tile I take. Um, I should go for the network really, and if that's the case, I need to be taking the priest, I suppose. 
Um, so I should upgrade by shipping one more time, but that means I don't have, don't have enough coins to really improve the network or build the, uh, so I can't take the priest town tile. It's coins that I'm really short of. I could take the power. I could take the 11 points. So my supply, I have three priests in my supply. So now it's time to complete the town. I, if I complete the town, I can't take the town, the, uh, well, I could take the priest town tile, but that means I can't convert that many workers. I can only pre convert two workers into, uh, okay, we'll do that now. Stronghold, go. Three workers, convert three workers. I can always convert them back. But I've got to take the town first. So as I've only got three workers in my supply, it's a choice between the... points or going for a network a bit more. I think quite strong on the network. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I can only put uh, two more dwellings down without needing. So I'm going to go for without needing a trading post. So I'm going to go for the 11 points. That takes me up to 99 points. And we'll trade three priests. Trade three uh, workers for priests. And that's going to be another eight points or another six. But I have four priests, so that's eight. But I can only get down one more dwellings, or can I? Yeah, I need another power. Don't think anyone's going to give me another power. I could get two more dwellings down. There's no point in throwing uh, priests into the cult track to get that power. But I could always convert a priest back if I need to, to get network. So at the moment, just join up the network with the first dwelling and then decide whether to put another dwelling down or just dig. Yeah, I'd have to convert a priest into a coin. I'm short one power. So one, two, th four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. My network is ten. And cultists are going to be 10 if they join it, join it up, which I'm sure they probably will. And the chaos magician, chaos magicians, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. So I'm really in a competitive situation with the uh, network. So what I'm going to do is just do a single dig and see what happens later. Can I mess somebody around a bit with a dig though? Don't think I can really cause anyone any trouble. So we'll just dig this one to black and get a couple of points there. And not gonna build a dwelling because I can't. Build, can't. Okay, do not build. And then later I can decide if I want to build a dwelling or not. We'll see what the cultists do. Oh, they've got three digs, so they're gonna join their network that way. Their shipping level, yeah, they can still, the shipping level is only two, so they still need four coins to uh, upgrade their shipping, but the digs they're gonna get now anyway, they're gonna complete a town, so here yeah nice little finish there by the uh cultists if they have if they have um the fire too do they have the fire too yes they do so it looks like they're going to finish a town but that means they've got to dig the red hex they've got three digs oh where did he do his three digs? Oh, right. Yeah, it's points. I'm getting mixed up. It's the, um, 
halflings that get three digs for building a stronghold. Cultists just get a seven point bonus for their stronghold. So it looks like the cultists can't finish their network here because this of this hex here. And they would need to take the two worker power action to use workers to dig and then they'd build the dwelling. They wouldn't have enough to upgrade their shipping. So I think I should just keep digging. Okay, just do another dig. Where shall I dig this time? We'll just dig this to brown. Confirm. Just to leave my options open, just in case I decide to increase the network. Let's see, Chaos Magicians, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. So I can equal the Chaos Magicians, that would be worth it if the Chaos Magicians aren't going to build any more, which they can't, three, four, five, six, seven. They can, they can put another dwelling down, but they don't have the resources to do it, do they? So it might be worth it. I've still got a cult step. I can't get a power from the cult step, but I'll take the cult step just to buy a bit of time. And uh, then I can still just throw a dwelling down and uh, it's going to score nicely. Because I'm taking points away from the, by matching the Chaos Magicians network, I'm taking points away from the Chaos Magicians, even though I'm wasting one of my priests turning it into a coin. It's unfortunate that uh, the cult step is not going to get me two power or any power. I'll take that. Chaos Magicians, uh, what are they going to do? Just check one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Uh, the Mork makes a comment very bad. True. Nothing much he can do with his. Okay, so I'm just going to take my cult step just to buy a bit more time. And we'll put it into, not that it makes any difference, we'll put it into water. The cultists only won one of the cults, Chaos Magicians two. And cultists not joining up their network, which really is bad. In a position where it wouldn't be that hard to join up the network. They should have got two towns. I don't know why they spread out so early on. Chaos Magicians. going to spend their priests are they I'll put another dwelling down I'm going to dig with the next one to try to not oh let's put another dwelling down okay <laughs> so that means I can't match the cultists I'm in second place on the network so we just dig and there's no point in going up to um, 
11 on the network, we'll stick at 10. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We'll stick at ten because um, the the chaos magicians have gone to twelve. So by placing another dwelling down, I would have scored fewer points. So by just holding out, that was the right move because we wanted to see what the uh, chaos magicians were going to do. There's no point in going to eleven on the network because I'm already, I've already got second place on the network. Okay, Chaos Magicians are gonna use their last priest. Really not gonna make any difference whether they do or they don't. So I'm just gonna do another dig and we'll dig here and we'll turn it to blue. Okay, and then nothing else I can do, so pass. Nothing else, no, nope. pass. And with a six point bonus there from the bonus card, should be enough to win the game. Okay guys, so the final score is 143 for the Darklings. Second place, the Chaos Magicians with 121. And in third place, it's the Cultists with 110. So yeah, um, three player game is a lot easier than four player game because there's really no competition for the um, favor tile so there's no rush for earth one although i did rush for it in this game it's not necessary to do that but uh, another thing the games are a lot faster so that's uh that's also a good thing sometimes you know finding enough time to play terra mystica is not always easy but anyway if you made it this far thanks a lot for watching guys and i'll see you in the next video cheers